Every once in a while, I find a script that is just so cool I can't help but share. I found one that allows you to listen to lo-fi tunes in the background. Now, as it is by itself, it's cool enough, and I was going to share it as part of the top five apps of next month. But since I've been using it, I realized that it can be expanded to pretty much listen to anything that streams. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the script itself. Now this is called Rofi Beats or Rofi Beats, whichever way you want to say it. And basically what it does is it gives you an array of things to listen to. So if I open up this as it is, you'll see Rofi pops up and it gives me several different streams that I can listen to, including the most popular ones. And you just hit enter and it plays the tunes. Now, Ignore the things at the bottom, because those are the things that I added. One through six are things that you get out of the box if you just install this app, this script. And I will link to the script below in the video description. You can go through and just hit enter, and it will play in the background. There's no, like, pop-up window or anything. It just plays indefinitely until you hit the key binding to stop it. And the key binding to stop it is the same one it is to start it. So it's really easy. It's very, very simple. The script itself... If we go through it here, it just sends out a notification that says it's now playing. It has an array here of the sources that you can choose. And then it has another array here that allows that tells it where to get the stream from. And then it feeds that into Rofi. Now, this, as I said, this works with MPV. So, basically, the stock version of this script is bringing streams from a place called streamafrica.net or xeno.fm and it's a couple other ones and basically anything that's not youtube you know what i mean most of the streams that it's getting are actually legal streams because most of those streams will actually allow you to use their music however you want even for commercial reasons so it's not as if you're breaking the law here or anything in terms of copyright infringement if you use this I'm assuming the reason why they don't use YouTube is because they don't want to risk YouTube actually taking those things away. Because YouTube likes breaking things all the time when it comes to this kind of stuff. So using a different source for the stream means that this script this script will last longer, I guess, is one way to look at it. So the first six are, like I said, things that will come to you if you just install the script itself. And like I said, in and of itself, it's awesome. You know, it's just a way to listen to lo-fi music however you want to and it's just plays in the background and as good as you can and it will go on forever because these streams play 24 7 but what i found is cool was if you wanted to you could find any stream out there that you want and put that right into this script but there's no reason why you can't so i've gone through and done that now this is where i'm going to transition to saying from YouTube to YT. So if I say YT, I don't want this video to get demonetized because I say stream something from YT. But that's what I've done. The The seventh and eighth entries here, I've added myself. And one of them is a jazz channel that goes through and streams jazz 24-7. And it works with MPV the same way the others work for MPV, only it's taking the video stream of those and then just playing the audio. So I use the no video flag here and that just means that it plays in the background uh, i did the same thing for some rain sounds so that you can have i can have rain sounds in the background if i want to as well and I, you could do this pretty much with anything that works with mpv and it's just really all that simple it's really really cool there's not much to the script all you'd have to do to add something to it is add it into the first array and give it a number and make sure if it's not the last one here that it gets a new line character backslash n that way it stays you know each on a new line there is a better way of doing this but uh, i just left it the way the author had it uh, and then make sure you just add it the same way down here as an entry like i did here and that's how you would add pretty much anything and mpv as far as i'm aware will work with pretty much anything that is streaming in a certain codec so you could get it from pretty much any source as long as it's streaming all the time it doesn't even have to be music. It could be like a, a news radio or something. As long as you have access to the stream, 
and it's not like paywalled or something, you can go through and put the URL in here and it should work with MPV. Now, obviously, there may be exceptions on, that I'm not aware of, uh, but the things that I've tried at least so far, specifically ones on YT, uh, work perfectly fine. Now, I did notice that the ones that use the uh, th sources from U YT uh, are a little bit slower because they have to go... MPV has to go through and kind of pull it away from the video part and just stream the audio. Uh, but it's not so much slower that you, it really matters. It just takes a few minutes, a few extra moments to start streaming. So that is Rofi Beats. And it's really cool. Like I said, the link will be in the video description. Uh, and I like adding things to it. I'm going to add a whole bunch more to it. And it will allow me to go through and just listen to whatever stream I want to listen to. And I won't have to, you know, go to whatever website I'd normally go to in order to listen to it. It just will stream in the background. I really like it. Uh, I think that you will too. If you are interested in it, leave a comment below. Uh, if you have any other scripts that you would like me to check out, you can also leave those in the comments below. But remember, don't put links in the YouTube comments. YouTube will automatically delete those and I won't even ever see them. You can also follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can send me recommendations there as well. You, you can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take one moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Patrick L., Marcus, Meglin, Sven, Jackson, F. Tool, Joshua Lee, Steve A., Mitchell, Art Center, Merrick, Camp, J-Dog, and the BSDs Rock. Thanks everybody for watching. See you next time.